I'm David Glancy, Master Sommelier and CEO of San Francisco Wine School. My good friends here at the San Francisco Wine Trading Company have generously offered for me to use their store to shoot this video. Today's video is about proper restaurant service of wax sealed wine bottles. Now, this service is the fine points apply to restaurants, but the part of just getting through the wax applies to anyone at home, any occasion. There are lots of different kinds of wax seals, and there are many thoughts on how to go through it. Some people say you just put the corkscrew right through the center of the wax and ignore it. Some people chip it off. Lots of different possibilities. But I'm going to show you one way that I think is particularly good for restaurant service. Now, I'm not doing the full thing. I'm not here at a table with guests. But I would present the bottle to the guest before you do anything. And ask if you can leave the table to remove the wax seal. If I may, I'd like to step away from the table and just remove the wax seal. I'll be back to open the bottle table side if that's all right with you. Always inform the guests what you're doing and frankly, ask them if it's okay. Otherwise, you'll come up with a plan B. So when you step away from the table, you go into the back of the house and I like dipping the neck of the bottle only and if you could come on in here and just show how far in I'm going, I'm not getting the whole bottle. There's no wine. I'm not even beyond the cork. I'm just down in here in boiling hot water. I'm going to go 30 seconds or so. And this can be done at a restaurant, the steam arm of an espresso machine, uh, just boiled water on the stove top. It could be some restaurants have an uh, insta-hot tap in the kitchen. This is just a little hot pot, costs less than $20, boiled the water in less than a minute. So get it nice and soft, and then it's going to be a lot easier to deal with. One thing I didn't mention is that some of these seals are pure wax, others are wax plastic polymers, and I've even seen some that have pine resin, all sorts of different possibilities. So the going right through the middle is now a lot easier because I softened it up. And we just go right through and they say just ignore it. You've got to hold the lever on so you don't cause problems. It popped the top right off, but I really don't want to open it now because I'm afraid that I'm going to get wax inside the wine. So I'm just going to get rid of that little top of the wax and see if now that is enough. This is still in the back of the house. If I were at the table, I'd put that in my pocket straight away. So now I will. But I want to get this out of the way because we don't want risk of the wax falling into the wine when opening it. We don't want the wax touching the wine. So now it's really easy to cut this off, or much easier anyway. We've got the start at the top, and we can just peel it away all the way around. Any event, I'd peel that all off, come back, push the cork back in, come back to the table, present it to the guest, and then continue opening it. If you were to open it so that you couldn't remove all of the wax seal, there's something you can do other than that. So instead of dealing with uh, getting every bit of wax off, if you've got it off enough to do that, then you could use a pour spout. Now, there are fancy silver ones we could use. I've just grabbed something that is sometimes referred to as a drip knot. And I'm going to finish removing the cork for the guest. As I said, table side, you don't want them thinking you're switching wine on them. A drip knot is very easy. It's just a little rolled up foil thing. This way. I would rather use a nice silver pour spout, but this works nicely as well. So now you don't have to worry about the wax touching the wine. Nice even pour, and that works just as well as long as you're not getting any wax going into the bottle. But I would prefer to cut the wax all the way down here. That's all for doing this. Hopefully that makes it easier for you. I do want to show you one example of why this is important. Sometimes. It chips and cracks the natural wax. This was actually given to me by someone who attempted to open it, gave up on it. And that would be a shame to give up on this because this is a lovely wine. So don't you give up. Enjoy your wine. Cheers.